What's up everyone, in this video, we'll sync LogSeq across devices for free. We'll sync PC and PC, then PC and Android, and lastly, PC and iPhone. So, let's get into it. We need a cloud storage platform such as OneDrive or Dropbox and iCloud to transfer files between PC and iPhone. I'll use OneDrive in this video. To transfer files between computers, ensure you have OneDrive installed. You'll see the OneDrive folder in the File Explorer navigation and a notification in the notification tray. Install it if you don't. Open LogSeq and create a new graph by clicking this project name and then add a new graph. A browse dialog will appear. You must select a folder inside OneDrive to save files on the cloud. I'll go to Documents and then add a new folder. We'll choose this folder to save files. I've added some lines and a few files to ensure that the sync works. Once done, save the project and wait for OneDrive to sync. It's always automatic and takes a few seconds. Now on your other computer, ensure you have OneDrive installed and logged in. Open LogSeq and click the same Add New Graph button. We'll select the same folder inside OneDrive and click Open. OneDrive will take a few seconds to download and you will see the files populating in LogSeq. If we edit something here, we'll see the changes on the other computer. We'll sync PC and Android now. For that, we need an additional application titled Folder Sync. Install it from Google Play and in the meantime, download LogSeq from the website as it's not available on Google Play. Then open the Files app on your device and create a folder where you want to save the project. I'll create a folder inside Documents. To use the same project, I recommend putting the same name to avoid any conflicts. Then we'll install LogSeq from Chrome Downloads. The phone might ask you to allow Chrome to install unknown apps. Check this option to allow it. We have everything ready now. Open the Folder Sync app. It will ask you to allow permissions. First is the file permission to access files. We also need notification permission to get notifications. Other permissions are optional, so I'll skip them for now. Tap this Finish button. This is the app. The first thing we'll do is go to this third tab and add OneDrive. Tap this button and choose OneDrive from the list. Click this Authenticate button. It will ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account. Ensure that you use the same account that is signed in on your computer. Once you have connected, you'll see the total storage here. Now we'll create a folder pair in the second tab. Click this button and give it a name. Select two ways to sync both ways. Below we'll choose the local project folder that we created on the left. Click select folder and open the folder. Tap select. To the right we'll choose the logseq folder from OneDrive. I'll select the existing one but you can create a new folder and start from scratch. Both folders are selected now. Click this save button to save this pair. Every time we tap on sync, the app will sync both folders. The sync is complete. If you open LogSeq, allow it to access local files and then choose the same folder, you'll see the existing pages. To sync any new changes, open Folder Sync, go to the second tab and click this sync button. We can also schedule sync so it will automatically sync both folders. If we open LogSeq on our PC, we'll see the Android changes right away. Now to PC and iPhone. For this, I'll create a new project on an iPhone first. Install LogSeq from the App Store and open it. Click the top button to create a new graph. Give it a name and ensure you check iCloud Sync to save files on the iCloud. This will ask you to choose a folder on the iCloud. I'll create a new one and save files inside of it. We'll add a few lines and a file to see if it syncs. All you need to do is wait for iCloud to sync files. You can manually sync by searching for iCloud, going to iCloud Backup and tapping the Backup button. Let's go to our computer now. Ensure you have iCloud installed. If you don't, go to Windows Store and search for iCloud. The program will ask you to enable iCloud to access drive files. Next, open LogSeq and click the project name on the top. Click the 
add new graph button to add the existing graph from iCloud. Go to the folder and choose the one you created while saving on your iPhone. You'll see all the data right away. Now if you edit something here, your iPhone files will be updated when iCloud syncs the changes. Let's test it out. I'll add a few lines and wait for iCloud to sync. Then open LogSeq on your iPhone. If you don't see the changes, tap the menu button and project drop down. Here you'll see this refresh button. Tap yes to refresh the changes and see the latest updates. So this is how we sync LogSeq across devices. Thanks for watching and please let me know if you need any help. I'll catch you later. Take care.